Looking at our current self-check 7.36, we are going to want to write a piece of code that constructs a jagged two-dimensional array of integers. It's called jagged with five rows and an increasing number of columns each row, such that the first row has one column, the second has two, and so on and so forth. And the array element should have an increasing value from top to bottom. So let's start this out by coding this two-dimensional array. So int, we have two dimensions. It's called jagged, and we're setting equal to a new int. We know the row length is five. We don't know the column length, so we will not specify it here. Now, when we have something like this, um, a multiple dimensional array, we want to have four loops. That way we can go through the rows and columns. Typically, we're gonna go through the rows first. So int row, we'll start it off at zero, and it's going to be, we're gonna run it as long as it's less than our jagged dot length. And the reason why we could do this is because our jagged length is going to be the row length, how many rows it has. We can do row plus plus, and then we can be inside of here. Now, let's specify the column length before we go into the for loop of the columns. So we can do specifying column length. And to specify the column length, you can notice it's based off the row. So in row one, it's one, row two, it's two, row three, it's three, and so on and so forth. Remember, the length is one more than the index. So when we're dealing with this, we're gonna have to increase the index value by one to match with the row. You'll see what I mean in a second. But let's get our array jagged, and we want the current row, so this row, current row that we're looking at, like the first row, has one, right? So we can set it equal to a new int where we have our row, current row, which is zero plus one. And this is going to work for every single row with the specific column it needs. So we can end this line and we can go into our nested for loop. And inside of this nested for loop, we're simply going to make our column start at zero. We're gonna run this as long as it's less than our jagged. And in here, we want the specific row and the length of that row. That's how many columns we have in here. So this is specifying that. Then we have column plus plus. We can end our for loop header. And inside of our for loop, all we're gonna want to do is increase this value. Now we can't really base it off anything inside of our for loop. So let's make a new value outside of here. Call it counts and we'll set it equal to one since it starts at one. Inside of here, we are just going to um, set our current column and row that we're looking at. So jagged row and then column, and we can set it equal to this count, and then plus plus because we want to increase it every single time we hit it. We're gonna end our nested for loop and end our outer for loop, we can press submit, and we've passed one out of one test. So that's how we would do this self-check exercise, this is the code for it, and how we would solve for it.